first off, I can say this happened about, I'm going to say a day's worth, 24 hours ago. And I meant to post the first video a lot sooner, but it just took too long to process. And I made it at midnight when I was, like, smiling a lot. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but since I made the first video a lot and, like, a lot has happened within just 24 hours, people are freaking out about G-Dragon, about YG Entertainment, about the future of Big Bang. They're, they are letting their ima uh, imaginations run wild. It's craziness. I see how serious it could be to create in Korean society, but, like, to me, I'm still trying to find out the big deal here since, you know, I'm from, like, dude, America. And, but I guess the consequences are coming in more forms than arrest, which means detainment and being taken in for questioning, not being indicted, and not being actually put in jail, just so you know. Um, and speculations are coming in every which way, which are actually mostly by all K-pop, who are just grabbing any Korean uh, opinionative articles about the matter and translating them just so they can get views on their site, which I don't have a problem with, but, you know, there is a line. There is personal respect and all that. You can report the news, but don't report speculation. Like, that's really lame. Um, I advise you not to pay attention to them and pay more attention to me because I'm going to try to slim down the fat of this ridiculously bullish out story, but they have thousands of views and I only have, like, they're like a lot more um, but I will act as the water to put out these flames and set the record straight starting with the fact that since I have been talking about this article the first one that came up that revealed that he was caught smoking marijuana was because what has garnered over 8,000 comments holy crap um, and every article after that 8 articles that's like eight articles in 24 hours. That's like uh, like one story per six hours. And each of those articles has gotten about over 500 views themselves, or 500 uh, comments. So people really do care because we all really love G-Dragon. But some of this stuff is just ridiculous. Um, the first one was the initial comment. The second one was YG saying that they were shocked and they were going to talk about this in an official statement the next day. The next one has to do with G-Dragon's best friend, Taehyung, in the Big Bang. Um, like I said, I think they were trying to blow up any sort of speculations they can in the media until the official statement came out. So they went all the way back to his freaking Twitter on October 1st, Taehyung, who left an enigmatic tweet saying, I might act like I don't know, but I know it all. I might act like I'm being fooled, but I'm just closing my eyes. And some people are convinced that this has to do with the G-Dragon thing. I'm not entirely convinced. I mean... Since it was, it happened in May, it's like kind of been ongoing. I feel like, I don't know. Some representatives of YG would know, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm not sure. But I think they're just making a really, really big mountain out of a tiny little molehill. Get it? Mole because of it. Hit G Dragon. Small. Anyway, um, the most ridiculous article so far, though, has to be the one called Is Big Bang on the Verge? of collapse. Oh my god, is this the most exaggerated thing I've ever read in my life. Um, and it came from Neighbor figures. Um, it says, with the recent news of Big Bang's G-Dragon caught in legal issues for smoking marijuana, fans can't help but worry about Big Bang's future as they are arguably one of the most successful boy bands in Korea. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and they were saying how 2011 seems to be the worst year for them, even past their not so you know, glamorous debut days, and started with, of course, Day Sung, who I feel I'm replicating this whole Day Sung thing and the G-Dragon thing and the way I'm presenting this, shoving information down you guys' throats with a bunch of updates, and I apologize, but, um, started with Day Sung and the incident with, um, the, the motorcyclist that he ended up being, um, that ended up being, like, the final blow to kill him, but he was, you know, ultimately proven lack of evidence so he wasn't like charged or anything and they sung pretty much been out of the music scene for about five months and in this time though they have been investigating g-dragon for whatever reason like i still don't understand what could have tipped them off to say oh well, it looks like he might have been smoking pot for maybe one or two times hey let's go take some of his hair i don't know i still don't get it um and there's something called the five-year curse i guess in k-pop like um, one of the more notable examples is TVXQ. They 
I think they started, oh, um, they started either in 2004 or 5, and they were together for five years until, um, JYJ, uh, J. Joan Yujun and Jin Su, they all left SM, so that was kind of the end of that TBXQ. They're calling it, like, a, just a five-year curse, and since Big Bang started in 2006, they think that it's a curse. Um, one other weird part was that I guess 21 doesn't get any love from Neighbor at all, because... Neighbor was saying how Big Bang makes about 50% of the total revenue for YG Entertainment, which I guess makes sense for this year, but what about the two years and three months that Big Bang were off on hiatus not in legal trouble? Like, who was making the income then? They didn't release, like, really anything except for Japanese um, singles and the Lollipop 2 song. So I don't know. But don't believe it. They're not on the verge of collapse, really. I don't want people to freak out like this. This, it's it's just speculation. There's no word from, like, and these, like, these stupid analysis people who think they know everything. Um, they're saying that the GD and Top album that is scheduled to be released in Japan could be delayed, which I don't think is true, or I don't know, I'm sure why it would be. And the G NG Dragon's, um, solo comeback, which was set to be mid-October, would be, um, delayed, which I do think is true, because that would be in Korea. GD and Top thing would be in Japan, so... I don't really know that it matters over there because while Kara was having legal troubles in Korea with their uh, label DSP, they were still doing stuff in Japan. So I'm not sure that what the issues that carry over would carry over from Korea to Japan. Um, the final article before the official YG announcement was one saying that Big Bang, Mind Stay Sun, um, they recently became sponsors of North Face, like the the hiking gear company thing, and they had to cancel the photo shoot that they had with them that day because of what's happened, um, which I understand, so. And then, YG released the long-ass statement, basically apologizing, saying that g Dagger went under investigation for smoking mar marijuana last July. I still don't understand how marijuana can stay in your system, in your hair, for two months, but he had long hair at the time, so I guess you never know. Um, g Dragon's never smoked marijuana, we cropped because he hasn't, and we uh, cooperated with the investigation. Um, as soon as the hair test strand came back and he tested positive, we were shocked. We were contemplating what the reason would be, so I guess they really didn't know why. Maybe they thought, oh, you got the wrong hair sample or something. But, um, but G-Dragon was like, oh, wait a minute. I remember this time when I went to use the bathroom in a Japanese club, and a young person who was a Japanese fan recognized me and offered me a cigarette as, as he greeted me. And out of courtesy, I took it from him and took through two or three pups, but felt it was different from normal cigarettes and flushed it down the toilet. Some people think that he's just a, he's trying to make it seem like it wasn't a big deal, which I don't think it is. He's like, I'm only choking, I only took two or three pups, and I totally got rid of it. But some people are like, well, you still did it, so you're still at fault, which is really harsh and stupid, like, lighten up people. Although there was no legal penalty issued, the guilty conscience and responsibility for causing everyone pain is a weight that G-Dragon and the company must now carry upon our shoulders, and it is heavier than anything, and then they apologize for being so careless and stuff, and being over-apologetic as they are in Korea. But, good news is, like I was saying before, if he would get barred from broadcast shows, he's not going to. KBS, NBC, and SBS, the three major broadcast channels in Korea, assured everybody that there would be no apparent sanctions against him, basically meaning that they wouldn't bar him from any TV shows. Thank goodness. Because, um, because he was, his indictment is currently suspended, so he's not standing before the law, he's not going on trial, and so they say imposing a restriction even if they wanted to would be difficult. Please don't, don't impose a restriction at all.